creepiest coincidences in history. Have you ever wondered if a truly creepy coincidence will happen in your life? Since most of the ones you see on the internet wind up being a hoax perpetrated by a prankster or someone else seeking fame. In this video, we are going to cover some of the creepiest coincidences in history that most people barely believe and have always wanted a full explanation for. If someone posts about a creepy coincidence, we want evidence. Unfortunately, thousands of history's creepy coincidences remain a mystery due to lack of technology of their time period. If you're intrigued, stick around till the end to see all the coincidences we have to offer. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment at the end of the video. The 10th creepiest coincidence on our list is the sandwich that shaped the modern world. Yeah, you heard that right. While you might have learned that World War I was caused by the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, your history teacher may have left out the fact that the assassination was made possible because the assassins stopped for a sandwich. Their original attempt to kill the Archduke failed miserably. Their bomb hit the car behind Ferdinand's and he escaped the scene unscathed. The assassins were angry about this, and one of them decided to stop to get a sandwich at a nearby cafe. Meanwhile, the Archduke dashed off in his car, happy to be alive. Unfortunately, his driver made a wrong turn and passed right by the cafe where his attacker had stopped for a bite to eat. The man saw Ferdinand, shot the Archduke and his wife, and sent the world into a tailspin. The assassination is said to have been the launch point for World War I. So we can say World War I was started because a man stopped for a sandwich. At number 9 is Mark Twain's meteorotic birthday. Every 76 years, Halley's comet soars past Earth, visible to the naked eye. The famed writer was born one year after its passing in 1835. By 1909, he predicted he died the following year when the comet was set to pass again. The New York Times quotes him saying, The Almighty has said, no doubt. Now here are these two unaccountable freaks. They came in together, they must go out together. His prediction was right. The writer died one day after the comet's closest approach in 1910. The coincidence which is eighth creepiest on our list is the king's double. For protection, many kings use body doubles. King Umberto I of Italy came upon his double by accident. While eating dinner at a small restaurant, Umberto noticed that the restaurant owner was nearly identical in looks to himself. However, they soon discovered more similarities. They were both born in the same town on the same day in the same year. They both married a woman named Margarita, and the owner had opened his restaurant on the same day as Umberto was crowned king. Wait, it gets weirder. The day after the pair met on July 29, 1900, the owner was killed in an accidental shooting. The same day that Umberto was assassinated. That's creepy. The seventh creepy coincidence on our list is related to James Dean's car. James Dean, the famous actor, died tragically at the tender age of 24. In addition to acting, Dean was passionate about cars to the point that he was contemplating venturing into professional racing. Unfortunately, on September 30th, 1955, his dreams were brought to a screeching halt when he got into a fatal accident on his way to a race in his brand new Porsche 550 Spider. Being highly sought after by celebrities, the iconic Spider and its parts have been bought and sold multiple times over. But they always seem to mysteriously bring bad luck to their owners. The car's engine has been involved in several subsequent accidents, one fatal. There's even a reported incident where a building that stored the iconic car caught fire. For number six, here's a coincidence that has left many stunned. It's known as the mysterious monk. Frustrated with life and depression, painter Joseph Eigner attempted suicide on multiple occasions, once when he was 18 and once when he was 22. However, according to Ripley's Believe It or Not, he was stopped both times by the same capuchin monk. When he was 30, Eigner was sentenced to death for his political activities, but was again saved by the monk, who intervened on his behalf. 
Eventually, Eigner was successful and killed himself by using a pistol when he was 68. The funeral ceremony was conducted by, you guessed it, the same capuchin monk, whose name Eigner had never even learned. The fifth coincidence on our list is the case of a painting that predicted Hitler's evil. Before getting involved in politics and becoming one of the greatest monsters in human history, Hitler had aspirations as a painter. Even after abandoning said aspiration, he remained passionate about the arts. And the aforementioned painting is said to have been one of his favorites. Painted by Franz von Stuck, an artist Hitler long admired, The Wild Chase is a gloomy and foreboding work that von Stuck just so happened to complete in 1889 the year Hitler was born. The painting depicts Wotan, a Germanic god, leading the mythic wild hunt, followed by an army of the dead. Wotan bears a striking resemblance to Hitler, and many retrospectively see this painting as having predicted his rise to power and bloody legacy. Now that is wild. At number four are the Jim twins. Let's discuss a coincidence that, while nonetheless odd, does have a notably happier ending. Twins James Jim Lewis and James Jim Springer were separated shortly after birth and adopted by different families. They grew up without any contact with one another. When they finally did meet at the age of 39, they were floored by the similarities in their lives. As children, they both had dogs named Toy and excelled in math and woodworking. As adults, they both were married twice first to a woman named Linda, then to a woman named Betty. When they had sons, they both named them James and Alan. They were both smokers, drove Chevys, and even chose to vacation at the same Florida beach. How many twins with this many similarities live in your neighborhood? Obviously none. This type of stuff only happens once every thousand years. The third creepiest coincidence on our list is Tamerlane's tomb. On June 1941, Russian anthropologists, led by Mikhail Gerasimov, conducted a dig at the site at the Gu Re Amir. The mausoleum was the final resting place of Tamerlane, a Turco Mongol conqueror who founded the Timurid Empire and was thought to be responsible for the death of up to 17 million people due to his deadly campaigns. However, depending on who you ask, he may have asked to up the body count for the history books. Inside his casket, the anthropologist reportedly found the inscription, whoever so opens my tomb will unleash an invader more terrible than I. They went ahead and opened the tomb anyway. Three days later, Operation Barbarossa began. For those that don't remember, Operation Barbarossa was the Nazi invasion of the Soviet Union, which is said to have been the largest in human history. Crazy coincidence, possibly predicted by a king our second coincidence on the list is the Titan and the Titanic. In 1898, Morgan Robertson published a novella titled Futility or The Wreck of the Titan. The plot revolved around the HMS Titan, a British luxury liner that hits an iceberg and sinks while crossing the Northern Atlantic Ocean. Of course, in 1912, the Titanic sank similarly. And that's where things get bizarre. Both ships were considered unsinkable. Both hit an iceberg in April approximately 400 miles from New Finland. Both were approximately 800 feet long, and both resulted in the deaths of over 2,000 people. In the book, the lack of life jackets and lifeboats was a serious problem that led to many deaths. Sadly, so is true for the real Titanic. The last and creepiest coincidence on our list is the case of John Fitzgerald Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln. Both men were elected to Congress 100 years apart in 1846 and 1946. They then both became president 14 years later in their lives. Lincoln in 1860, Kennedy in 1960. Both were also killed by fatal gunshot wounds to the head and succeeded by men named Johnson who, wouldn't you know it, just so happened to be born 100 years apart. Add to that some other coincidences, like them dying on a Friday, their family names each containing seven letters, and the fact that they were both famous for their civil rights efforts. And you've got two presidents 
cut from an eerily similar cloth. Can all of that really just be a coincidence? What do you think about all these coincidences? Have you ever heard of any of them before? Or do you know of any creep coincidences like these? If yes, comment about your coincidences in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well.